Hey everybody, welcome back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to new game because that's this is where exactly where we came out. So <laughs> yes, let's read the tutorial. Are you sure do options. <laughs> so <laughs> we didn't get to make this joke, but Helper had a pretty good joke he wanted to tell. What did what did the king say? So at the very beginning, they mentioned, oh, it's an annual event, and he's like. Oh, I brought out my finest every ten, the, for this every 10-year event. I was like, what happens to the other nine? Are they just the <laughs> subpar people? Yeah. To solve this game, you'll need to explore the fairy kingdom, talking to the people and learning as much as you can about the queen. It's normal in this game to gather an eclectic collection of items in your inventory. Eclectic. Try using your inventory in unique ways <laughs> on people. <laughs> Objects or other items. Uh oh, you guys, I think I might get in trouble playing there this. There is always a solution to any given puzzle, and there are no situations where you can get into an unwinnable position. What? What kind of Sierra game is this? Yeah! As you move your mouse around the screen, points of interest will be identified and their name will be displayed near the bottom of the screen. Left clicking the mouse will interact with those points, otherwise, it will move Finn to the location clicked. Right-clicking the mouse will look at a point of interest and give a description. Moving the mouse to the top of the screen will activate the inventory window and will also allow you to access the control panel and the loot panel. But don't access the loot panel before the tutorial. <laughs> ooh, ooh, look. Is there, there's a queen. She's oh, we found fountain. it! Oh, we found this her! This fountain was commissioned by the queen many years ago. It's quite beautiful. You don't need a drink at the moment. <laughs> Okay, back to what I was trying to- Welcome to your songbook. Oh. Here, you'll find all the songs you know as well as your loot. To use the loot in hard mode, you start by pressing the button which denotes the song you wish Finn to play. Pay close attention to the notes which are played, and then replicate them by pressing those strings in the same order. So is it Simon? If you use the he loot says. in easy mode, Simply pressing the song button will ensure Finn always plays the song correctly. Have fun! Okay, I don't... I wasn't trying to do that. I'm just... Oh, here we go! Okay. So I'm gonna turn the music down slightly just so you can hear us. We want speech all the way up so you can definitely hear the people. We definitely want voice and text. I think these are all good. Yes, yes they are. Just for late blight, we'll have started game. Oh, we had perfect played all the old games. We're so <laughs> embarrassed. So here's Chucker was the one of the guys we It's one of your competitors yeah. in the challenge. He appears to be dropping pebbles into the fountain. We need to steal everybody's Hello coin. there. How is your search for the queen going? Oh that no. I gave up already. <laughs> it seemed like a lot of walking, and I'm more content to just stay in town here. Oh. Well, okay then. Well, have fun. Oh, I am! Dropping pebbles into the fountain is very relaxing. Take care, Chucker. Same to you, Mr. Bard. Alright, so we're already down one person. Alright, you guys, we're on our way here. These two pillars of stone are inscribed with the names of all the fallen ones from the last great fairy war. What? If we steal everybody's gold coin, then nobody can come back even if they find the queen. Oh yeah! I forgot he already said something about a gold coin. The king gave you this gold coin to assist you in your quest. I have to admit, I wasn't entirely paying attention. This is your precious songbook. Your father gave this to you many years ago, and you've always treasured it. Yeah, okay. Can I look at myself? It's you, Finn the Bard. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna probably call him Flynn the Bard, and I apologize if I do because <laughs> it's too close to Flynn from um, Darkness Rising. Um, Wasn't he called Flynn? I think so. Yeah. Never fear, Flynn is here! <laughs> I'm a Bard. I was, I was thinking of a guy from Rapunzel movie, Tangled. Oh, what was his name? I think it was Flynn. Well, I could be mistaken. Oh my gosh, I can't. Flynn Rider. Yeah. He no. wasn't a bard, though. He was a thief. He was. Oh, let's rob this house. You know what's wrong once? This is the mistaken. tavern owner's home. How the do door we... is locked. She's probably in the tavern. How do we know? This is a charming fairy abode. Built high in the tree. Okay. You quickly brush any dust off your clothes. You plan on meeting the queen sometime soon. Bless you, helper. 
Well, thank you. Oh, look, it's the tavern. The local tavern sits here above the king's court <laughs> in the great tree. I like how the tavern's above the king's hall. I like that. So you they can enter blow me the down. tavern. You enter the tavern. Thank you for telling me, game. Oh, well, it's fairly certain there would be fairies in here. Yeah. A large, beautiful vase sits near the door. This reminds me of the, the um, elf town of Sweet and That's me. way too big to be carrying around. No, the joke is that... that oh, it's a vase. I was going to say if it was an urn, the, the joke would be you haven't earned the right to do that. <laughs> around the tavern are some small round tables and a single large table for patrons to sit at and enjoy their drinks. Around the tavern... Okay, uh... Oh, it's that guy who had tails. It's one of the other challengers, Fowlin. He was at the king's court with you. Have you given up yet, sir? Hello there. Hello, Bard. How is your search for the queen going? Well, I suppose it's just begun, really. I'll admit I haven't had much luck myself. I haven't either at this stage, but I won't give up yet. I've decided that instead of wandering to and fro, looking everywhere in the fairy realm, I'll wait here and think about where the queen could be hidden. That's an interesting idea you've got there. Oh yes, the atmosphere of this little pub really helps me to clear my head and think clearly. You should join me. It might give you an idea of where to look next. <laughs> As a bard, most of my time is spent composing or thinking. Indeed it is, indeed. Not, not singing? I think I'm better off exploring and searching for the queen as opposed to sitting around. Thank you for the offer, though. It is greatly appreciated. Think nothing of it. I'll be here for a while if you change your mind. He's, like, way too nice. Okay. Um, Elka. I like that name. The bar owner looks like she'll take no guff from anyone. Hello there. Welcome to my Whoa. tavern. I'm Elka. And I'm the publican of the Woodland Tavern. The what? And I'm publican. always pleased to have a bard grace my establishment. Thanks, Elka. I'm Finn, and I'm here to participate in the King's Challenge. Well, the Queen's not here, unfortunately. But you are most welcome to rest here if you wish. Thanks. I'm guessing publican is someone that runs up the pub. You know, this whole thing just seems odd to me because she's not really lost. It's like I'm having a hard time getting the motivation here. No, she got enchanted into a stone statue and is in the fountain. <laughs> what can you tell me about the fairy realm? What can you tell me about the fairy realm? Oh, the fairy realm is a magical and amazing place. Besides the town, there's a lot of magical and beautiful places to visit. She's a nice to the I west see. lies the border with the kingdom of spiders. They might seem creepy, but they're highly intelligent and social. There's a mm. nasty swamp to the north. Just outside the swamp, you can find Ted and the old turtle. They're fishing buddies. Be brave. Go exploring. You'll see what we have to offer. Turtles? Turtles. What can you tell me about this bar? All the way down. I own and rob the Woodlands Tavern. I've been here for over a hundred years Whoa. now, and I don't think I'll be retiring anytime soon. My daughter Orde and I live in a little house down below. Can I rob it? What can you tell me about your daughter? Orde is a joy. She's away at the moment picking some flowers for her art. She's a painter and makes her own paints and toys from flowers and other plants. So I can go She's been gone a few it. days now, but I'm sure she'll be back soon if you'd like to meet her. She loves wandering around the realm. I think it gives her inspiration for her paintings. Not that I don't worry, of course, but the fairy realm is very safe, and she's a capable woman. Oh yes, I always enjoy spending time with other artists. They can tell me so many things. Well, she doesn't talk. Hasn't since she was a little girl. But I'm sure you'll be good friends. She loves music. I look forward to meeting her. Can I play here? Anytime. We don't deal with money in the fairy realm, but I can offer you lodging and food if you need it. Ooh. Thank you. That's that's very kind. Don't mention it. My patrons would always love to hear a song. Wait, so Trouble how, rations how, unlocked. How does she sell anything? Like do Barter. Just... Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Bard. You quickly brush any- No, I didn't mean to do that. Can I- so- wait, can I play? Do you want to mute the loot? Uh, let's do loot easy for now. Where's our score? I did easy, so... No, I just meant you score for points. You rock the tavern with the happy song. Well done! A great rendition! Bravo! The happy song. Where, where's my food? 
What is this, like the Bard's College in Skyrim? I get nothing for that? <laughs> the shelves contain a number of items that appear of a personal nature for the barkeep. Maybe you need to liberate your rations. You don't touch the items on the shelves. They're not yours, and what? none of them would be useful If it's not quest. nailed down, you pick it up. I don't want a specimen. I just want to pick up and take the plant. <laughs> That's way too big. <sighs> okay. Can I take the candy? There's no, no. Wait, what is it? There's saying? no time to be sitting around now. There's the queen to find. She's hiding in the bushes. Check. With the bushes. Oh, I can't click on the bushes. No one's going to get that. Ooh, drinks. One drink leads to another. <laughs> and before you know it, you're singing for free and living in a barn. <laughs> nope. Best keep looking for the queen. Oh, you? All right, fine. Let's go. She's not in here. This feels so awkward. Like the fact everyone's giving up or what? I don't know. I I don't know how to feel about this game yet. I mean, I like the 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 background art is beautiful. I will give it that. And um, I like how the conversations aren't going on too long because I really like point and click games, but um. Helper gets really bored with them very quickly. There's a lot of chatting. You are in the west part of Cran Naoim, the fairy village. Citizens walk about, happy and content with their lives in this beautiful town. You note the library to the north, and the general store to the west. General store? I mean, what am I going to do? Oh, hey, people. Can You'd I... rather not trouble the fairies with idle chit-chat. Who said I wanted to chat with them? This fairy is going about. Is that a mace to the right? Um, by the building? To the right? I, no. Yeah, but I can't... It's the back of a wood and thatched house. The fairy is quite tall and has beautiful blonde hair. You consider her a worthy muse <laughs> for composing a ballad. I'll you name don't the have song. I'll name the song Temptation. Is it, does this say Fairy Woman 2? It's a bird bath. You really don't want to drink out of something <laughs> birds have been swimming in. Oh my. I guess we can go in the library. Maybe she's in there. You never know. It's the elven librarian, Elder. He looks to be a friendly and hospitable person. Hello there, librarian. Ah, ah. another challenger. Good, good. Can you help me locate the queen at all? Sorry, I can't. I can assist you if you come across something you've not seen before. There's sure to be a book in here about it, but otherwise you're on your own. Well, that's good to know. I can get help if I need it. I can tell you that you might want to have a look at some of the books in here. There's an open book on the desk upstairs, The Book of the Fairies, which will tell you more about the realm if you need it. Thank you very much. I certainly appreciate it. I like the portraits. They're very well done as well. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Elder, the librarian of this magnificent library. They call me that because I'm old. <laughs> What's with all the books laying around? Um, it's a library. <laughs> oh, there's so many books in here that I don't have room for them all. I'm getting a bit on in the years now, too, and lugging them up and down the stairs <laughs> really hurts my back. Not many people are interested in learning history nowadays. The only regular clients I get are the occasional monk or knight of the Order of the Thorn. Is there Your anything name? that might help in my quest to find the queen? Oh, I'm sure there is, but you'll need to be more specific if I'm to be able to direct you to the right place. As I said before, there's a book upstairs that may be of assistance, but otherwise you're going to need to know what to ask me about if I'm to be able to help you. What can you tell me about reverting people from stone? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe there's a book in here about it. What can you tell me about Cranley Oin? Oh, this is a marvelous and magical place. The center of the fairy realm itself. I feel blessed every day that I live here. We even have a monastery of the Order of the Thorn in town. Perfect there suppose. is also a beautiful monument to the fairy people on the Isle of the Honored. We've been watching too many LPs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. What can you tell me about the Order of the Thorn? The Order of the Thorn is a venerable order of knights and monks who have pledged their lives to be an active force of good in this world. So, they're a religious order? Yes, they serve a deity known as the Unknown God. The Unknown God? If he's unknown, how do they know how to serve him? 
A good question, and one you could probably ask the monk at the monastery. I think their unknown god isn't a specific deity as such, but instead is a placeholder for other gods whose names and nature aren't known. That's only my personal theory, though, and it's probably best not to repeat this to a member of the Order. Of course, most people just see the Order as benevolent knights and monks who help others. Thanks. That's really very interesting. They live by a very strict and time-honored code of conduct as well. There's a new monk at the monastery now, too. <laughs> so the funny thing is, I, I can't talk in between these sections because... It keeps going. It's on a it's on a timed text box. So yeah, the same issue. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep wanting to make comments, but he just keeps going and going and going. Like the Energizer Bunny. Did I asked him a? Oh no, these are new questions. What can you tell me about the monk? A brother Kunchen arrived in the village a month or so ago, and he's been busy repairing the monastery since. The place had been abandoned for the last few years since Brother Choden passed away. Bless his memory. I don't know much about Brother Kunchen from before he arrived. You'd best ask him yourself. Poor Brother Chodak passing away. Brother Chodak? Is that what you just called him? Yes. <laughs> so, I was watching a lot of um, LPs in the past couple weeks to to listen to while I was crafting, and uh, we listened to a lot of, what was it, Delandos and, and Late Plight stuff. Mm hmm. Do you know the Order's uh, Code of Conduct? Indeed I do! Here it is! To protect the weak and defenseless. To give help or assistance, especially in times of difficulty, to anyone who requires. To despise monetary reward. <gasps> to fight for the welfare of all. To obey those placed in authority. To persevere to the end in any enterprise begun. To never refuse a challenge from an equal. Okay. Those were not helpful. Oh, oh, it's gray if I've asked. Yay. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is this one green? What can you tell me about the Isle of the Honored? The Isle is a sacred place for the fairy realm. It is a cemetery for those who have died defending the realm against its enemies. What about those that lived? If you get the chance, you should <laughs> certainly visit there. The last time we added names there, it was when Lord Sinister attempted a war. Well, with a name like Lord Sinister, goodness. It'd be hard not to be evil. I know! That poor guy, he's like, well, I'm doomed to be evil, might as well go with it. They call me Joy, and I'm <laughs> miserable all the time. What can you tell me of Lord Sinister? Now there's a name that conjures up images of the past. Not the future? He was a powerful <laughs> warlord, and rumored to be a great warlock as well. He sought to control all the land under his direct order. When he was alive, it was the last time the realm was involved in war. It was said he was killed by a fairy warrior named Fairlon, who, I believe, is participating oh, in this year's guy. challenge with you. Probably tickled him to death. <laughs> he told the ultimate joke. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, librarian. Thank you for your assistance. No problem, my boy. Knowledge is power. Maybe they had a drinking contest. How many games can I pull up? <laughs> All right, stacks of books. Scattered over. around the library are stacks of books some of which appear to have been stacked for a long time, judging by the dust collected on them. Did the narrator just change his imagination? Maybe. This book appears to be a history of the last great fairy war. Flipping through the pages of the book, you come to an interesting section. People died. <laughs> Lord Sinister started a war. And in the last days of the war, the evil Lord Sinister gathered his armies of Vesparum and evil. flew against the forces of good which were gathered at the foot of the Mirror Mountains. You know, I had I was sitting here thinking, the game creators are coming up with such unique and interesting names, and then Lord Sinister. I guess they got tired. No, they needed a name that shook fear, made fear in people's hearts. hearts. Ah, I see you found my copy of the History of the Fairy Wars. Interesting stuff, new. No? Yes, certainly. Although I've never heard of these Vesparum before. Who are they? Ah, yes, the Vesparum. They're an abomination created by the evil Lord Sinister during the war. They're purely evil creatures, created for the sole purpose of doing Lord Sinister's bidding. They sound nasty. Oh, yes. There's accounts of them looking like angry wasps crossed with fairy folk. That Lord Sinister created them by infusing the blood of fairy with that of other creatures. Wasps. Luckily, they've not been seen since the end of the Great War a century ago. 
Well, would they necessarily have to be evil? Wouldn't they just be really loyal to their creator? Yeah. This book appears to be a history of the royal family. It's like genies. They just take on the will of their masters. They're not necessarily good or evil. Flicking through the pages, you see family genealogies going back almost a millennia. That's interesting. It says that some of the royal family in ages past could transform themselves into the shapes of other people or creatures. Oh, uh -oh. wait a minute. So the queen could be anything. Like a statue. <laughs> she must be the statue. Why else would Although it says of other people or creatures, it doesn't say items or objects. It's a people creature statue. So he said upstairs, right? Yes. Barn seems uninterested. You thumb through the book, reading the beautiful script written within. You briefly read a bit about the history of the fairy realm, and how the magic power of the great tree of Cran Naoi not only protects this valley, but other surrounding kingdoms. An old map falls out, <laughs> which you quickly pick up. Ooh. Whoa. Sweet, is it a magic map? A yes, magic in, yes, map, perhaps? Having studied the map of the fairy kingdom, you feel you know your way around the kingdom a bit better. Unfortunately, I have to be near the coast to make it work. Oh, you're right. Okay, I don't think we need to look at all the you stacks. You start to move towards the nearest stack of books. Ah, uh, nothing to see in those books. I'm working at shelving them again, but I never seem to find the time. What? Can I help Rude? you with that job? That's very kind of you, Finn, but I have a system, so it would be easier to do myself. Okay. Well, let me know if you change your mind. I will do that. There, Finn, but, we don't, but I don't feel like it. What about that open book? I, I can't click on it. Especially when I click outside the window. This is lame, Finn. Let you me do it, but I don't want to. You can't... Is that a cross? You would never smash that window. I don't want to smash it. I want to look at it. It's oh, a well. plus-shaped tree thingy. All right. Well, librarian, just... this old map fell out of the Book of Fairies. Oh, please, feel free to keep it. It's just an old copy I made for just such an occasion. Thank you very much. I'm sure this will be helpful. I predicted one of the challengers would need, would open that particular book. That's kind of what I'm gathering from that comment. I have this gold coin. Give me all your wares. Ah, a customer. Welcome to my humble store, Bard. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Well, seeing as they don't Come deal... In, lad. Take a look around. They don't deal with money. I mean, what am I gonna do? Sing for my? I'd like that duck's foot I've on got that some skull, please. To do, Bard. Tell me if anything catches your eye. What about ducks? I'd like that duck's foot on that skull, please. In the that looks like left. a candle. So can I sing for my? What is this? What ails you? I don't know what song this is, but it looks like a bottle. So maybe I can get a bottle for singing it. Such a nice song, and played so well, <laughs> but it had little effect on anything. Quick, it's Beck's turn. Take something. You don't require anything from the shelves at the moment. The skull. The shelves contain a variety of unusual and unique items. This shop really stocks some great things. Like the skull? Yeah. The large wooden counter gives the shopkeep a private workspace. It's adorned with a vase of flowers, which you assume his wife bought for him because you're a sexist prat. What? Nice. <laughs> okay. Because his husband wouldn't get him flowers. Because it must be his wife. Chicken soup. It's a cup of chicken soup. For the soul. That's a cup? Could I have that soup? Oh no, that's my lunch. Why would you want it? To throw it, it at a yeti. It's really delicious. And I'd love to drink it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm rather looking forward to it myself. I mean, if you needed it. We could make a deal, but right now, I'm gonna eat it later. Oh, I don't need it. It just smelled so good. Mmm, chicken soup. Oh my gosh, chicken no, soup hungry. is really tasty. Tastes like chickens. He's a plump looking fairy, well rounded in the midsection. He seems like a jolly guy, though. Ho, he ho, does ho. remind you of someone you've met before, though. Strange. Is that supposed to be... Was there another game I was supposed to have played before this? Good day to you, shopkeeper. I'm Finn, the Vard. Good day to you, young Finn. My name is Stefan, and this is my shop. I suppose you're here partaking in the King's Challenge. I am. I am out looking for the Queen right now. You don't happen to know where she is, do you? <laughs> no, sorry, lad. I don't. 
That would be quite an easy challenge, wouldn't it? Just ask the local shopkeeper where the queen is in. <laughs> Still, here's some advice. Not everything is as it seems. Like the fountain? Like, like the fountain statues. Maybe it's really the, the king. The only silly question is the one not asked. Have I a like look that. around the shop, and if you see anything you need, please let me know. Weapons Most in the corner. Most of my items are made to order, but there are a few things around that I could trade with you for. Trade? I, uh, I don't understand. Here That's in the fairy silly. realm, we trade our goods and services for things we need. We find it a fair system of commerce. Oh. That's good to know. Thank you, Stefan. Well, that's how it was before money was invented, and they believed that money was invented when, uh, back in, like, was it Mesopotamia or early Greece? When they stored the grain or the wheat for the village, they would give you something in return to mark how much of it was yours. And people started trading these markers, um, and it ended up becoming currency over time, I think is how it worked. So, I do believe so. Yeah. There you go. History lesson. Tell me more about yourself. Well, I do like a good game of croquet. Well, I do like a good game of croquet. Croquet? Okay. For a second there, I thought he was going to say it again. <laughs> croquet. Tell me more of Cranayoin. It's an amazing city. Full of peaceful and loving folk. Except you should visit the librarian. He's got all sorts of helpful yeah, information. I'm sure Elka in the tavern would love to hear you play. Glinda runs a potion shop on the other side of town. And boy, is she pretty. Ooh, Ooh, the young really? fellas fancy her. Ooh, we need to go over Does there. Just like Jean? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about the fairy realm. The realm is peaceful and full of all kinds of folk. Not only do fairies live here, but also some humans and gnomes too. I'm assuming we're an elf, though. I'm assuming so. Tell me about the king's challenge. Oh, it's amazing. One year, King Quillen created this challenge where the participants had to slay a dragon. Turns out the dragon was only an illusion, but the winner won because he found out and used his cunning to stop the illusion. <sighs> I always wondered what happened to old Andrew of Branscombe. He's a clever fellow. That cheater. I'm, I wonder if that was a previous game. Goodbye. You have a great day, Finn. Makes me feel like it probably was. A suit of armor sits on its stand here waiting, you suppose, for its owner to return and claim it. But where would you keep your loot if you wore the armor? Ah, uh, that poor armor. Once belonged to a fella who fell into a monstrous pit. He never got out alive, despite all the rumors and stories people told. A barrel sits here containing a number of weapons. The care with which the shopkeeper stores them shows he has little regard for warfare. So I guess in not very good condition at all? Yeah. You're a lover. Not a fighter. Ooh. So I, I'm not... The shelves contain a variety of unusual and unique items. This shop really stocks some great things. That we can't buy. That rocks. You don't require anything from the shelves at the moment. So we can't do anything. Again, we wasted our time. No, we found the lay of the land. Can I go this way? Push them out of the way. Oh, they came from here. I'm afraid to click out of the window. Yeah, this game won't run in full screen for some You've reason. Oh. got the greatest challenge of your life to win right now. So there's no time to be sitting around. Quick. The stone bench was placed there so people could rest a while if they needed to. Find some flowers to sniff. <laughs> what? Find some flowers to sniff. I heard you, I just didn't know what it was a reference to. Stop and sniff the flowers? Uh, you don't have time to sit, but maybe you have time to sniff flowers. Smell the roses? Yes. Maybe the queen is really the king. It's an illusion. The guards are dressed in metal and leather armor which covers their green tunics. In contrast with the other folk you've seen, these guards have stern, rigid looks on their faces. Trying to touch the guard <laughs> would not be a wise course of action. But as a master thief. Yeah. Hey, queen, is that you? There is light surrounding the king. I would be careful if I were you. If you disturb the light, the tree shall feed upon your energy as well. The great tree? It feeds on your energy? Yes, dear boy. The life of this village and tree are bound to me as long as I sit on the throne. Uh, pardon me, sire. I'm not from around here. I've only recently come to your fine land. No harm is done, dear boy. The fairy realm and the king's court are kept safe by the magic of the great tree, which in turn renews its power through this throne. I... 
Don't mean to pry, Majesty, but Are we facing does it him? hurt? No, no, stranger. It is a burden I gladly bear. Thank Wait. you very much, sire. No problem, dear boy. Now, what can I help you with? So if it's a burden... Can you tell me, are you the queen, sir? How are you, your majesty? <laughs> I am well, and eager to see how this year's challenge will proceed. You all seem like a clever bunch. Tell me about Cranaeon. Our fair village is the jewel of the fairy realm. All life in this land springs from this great tree, and I'm proud of our inhabitants. They are all good and decent people, who give and trade freely of themselves to those worthy enough to receive it. Helper's getting bored because I keep talking to everybody. <laughs> what can you tell me about the king's challenge? This is an ancient tradition, started by my father's 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 father. Goodness. While we fairies live in peace, we realize the importance of vigilance, and we wanted to always encourage heroes to rise and serve not only the people of the fairy realm, but all of Oer. Many of these heroes have preserved the peace that was hard won by the Order of the Fawn many, many years ago. Oh, goodness. Did he just add a whole bunch of stuff? Let's just get to the bottom. What can you tell me about the queen? Ah, my queen. She is as beautiful as she is wise and clever. She loves this challenge as much as I. I. Him. In fact, she jumped at the chance to be a part of it this year. Again, it's a yearly challenge, which <laughs> only every ten years does he bring out his what best. What can you tell me about the Order of the Thorn? The ancient Order of the Thorn is one of the most important groups of people in all of Oya. Not only are there sword knights of the Order, who patrol the lands to mete out justice and right, there are many others. The Order has monasteries in almost every major city in Oya. We have one here, in fact. Brother Kunjan lives and runs the monastery in the east part of town. What can you tell me about the swamp? The swamp is dangerous, however. It is filled with many fierce animals who call it home. They are not evil by design, but merely animals protecting their home. So if we get eaten, that's reassuring. Yeah. What can you tell me about the forest? Our forest is lovely and filled with wonder. You won't find much danger in it. But you may discover several tricky situations, or people. So a witch. I should return Does to my search float? for the Queen, Majesty. Farewell. Goodbye, dear Finn. May you have great luck in your quest. Hold on, I want to try something. Oops. Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to type with one hand. <gasps> Okay, um... How can I help you? No, I don't want to talk should... to you. Goodbye. I want to walk into the light and die. How can... What can you... No, the... no I don't want to talk to you. No, ah! I should... Goodbye. He said I would, like, die if I, like, walked into it. How can I... What okay. Can... Ah, if I... I should... Goodbye. I did say you couldn't get into unwonderful situations. Within the pulsating light, the... No, but un unwonderful situations is not the same thing as dying. Unwinnable is, like... Um... I, how can I give an example without giving any way Sierra games? There were a lot of Sierra games where if you didn't pick, like, my... You lost, you never picked up the toothpick at the very beginning of the game, therefore you couldn't pick the lock at the end of the game? The one I hated the most, although I never actually played Space Quest, which I thought one of the most unfair ones was in Space Quest 1 with the jetpack. Like, if you don't, if you don't figure out to get the jetpack at the beginning of the game, when you get to the end, you're stuck. Um... I think the most notable one for me was in King's Quest VI. I needed a spell ingredient, and you only have one chance to get it. And I didn't get it the first time I was when I was a kid. Okay. You um... reach the base of the <gasps> hill when you notice a mischievous pixie swooping down towards you. Uh oh, maybe Quick, it's a good thing duck. I just saved. Stuck. Uh oh. Plus I, I can't do anything. Hey, hey give that back. <laughs> Silly bard, it's mine now. I keep it. I didn't mean to leave town. Did she just steal my that loot or my gold coin? Stole your oh. book of songs. That's okay. That was my father's book. I need that to be able to play most of my songs. <laughs> it's mine now, little Bart. Better learn some new songs. Better learn some new songs. Little? We're bigger than she is. I guess we need to go chase her down? Yes. Do you have your fly swatter ready? <laughs> have my loot. The kingdom of the spiders lies west. The fairy realm lies east. Be at peace wherever you travel. Ooh, mushrooms. 
Eat them. None of these mushrooms look interesting. Or even edible. What? You decide not to grab. This is like... This is mushrooms lame. Mushrooms grow. Yeah. There are some crystals growing from the ground here. You couldn't take these crystals if you wanted to. They're too firmly buried in the ground. Okay. So I guess... It was a pixie that just ran off, right? It was. Can I take these mushrooms? None of these... No, oh, same thing. Oh, I guess we're going this way. <laughs> Wait, yes. Oh, it's it's Tavern Guy. It's one of the other... Hello, Fowler. Oh. What can I do for you, Bard? How is Mr. Evil? Yeah, have you seen any pixies? Uh, have you seen any pixies? Yes, actually. They live in a grove up north of here. How are you doing? I'm well. Just trying to figure out where the Queen could be. Tell me about Lord Sinister. Uh, well... He was the scariest man I have ever encountered. Sinister, perhaps. I'm just glad <laughs> none of us have to ever see him again. Why do I get the feeling that that's a lie? Tell me about Cran Owen. Well, it is where I was born and raised, originally. But I left home as a young Were fairy. You born and raised somewhere else? And have traveled <laughs> the world and had many adventures. I always wished to return home. And I thought it was time to now. Just in time for the good old King's Challenge. Tell me about adventure. adventure. Adventure, you say? I've had my fair share. I once rode a Narthim from the Silver Spire of Sorinda to the Bay of Hygonia. It was a three-day trip, but we did it in two. <gasps> oh my Bye. gosh. Good luck, Bard. Ooh, You'd never find the queen in time if you tried to carry this behemoth <laughs> around with you. What? She could be a mushroom. She's hiding under it. Whoa. These are some giant mushrooms. You couldn't carry one around if you tried. And the game's not going to let me try. A log lays here on the ground by the small pond, rotting as the years pass and the weather breaks it down. Is there any gold in it? You spend a good ten minutes searching the log <laughs> thoroughly. Nothing. Sometimes a log is just a log. There's no signet ring? You imagine this rock would be a great place to sit and fish. Intent. Although you'd love to sit here, maybe fish or play the lute for hours, you have to find the queen. Oh no. Are there piranhas in there? She could be at the pond. Oh, he actually went in the pond. What's this? Wilted flower. As you take a closer look, you realize this flower is wilting and won't survive if it stays planted here. Yeah, you take it with you. To take it with you. Okay. As gently as you can, you pull the flower from its small grassy aisle. Oh no, it's a gem monster! A wilted flower, okay. Um, I'm gonna guess I can't take any more crystals or mushrooms. Oh, here we go. Aronis piece. It is a Ronis piece. I think this might be a good place to stop, actually. What do you think? Okay. And we'll see you guys next time when we harass the pixies, I guess, for our book. Although, how did she even carry the book? I would assume the book is bigger than she is. Same thing I tell other people. Magic. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye.